Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> he didn't just like on the ground. He whipped it in his face and was like, "Bow." <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Sugar Beats, everybody. My name is Colin. It's Luke. And I'm Cody. Today, we are going to be doing uh, essentially our like initial reactions and thoughts to the first three episodes of the new Andor series that just came out on Disney+. Plus. If you guys have not seen it and you do not want to be uh, spoilerized or you don't want to hear spoilers, Spoiler. you have three, two, one, zero. If you're still here... Not our problem. Yeah, we don't, many we don't care that much. Yep. Okay, cool. So we just got through the first three episodes. Initial thoughts, initial feelings. How do we feel? I'm liking the setup. Definitely different than like the Favreau Filoni thing, which I absolutely love those two. But it's nice to see Star Wars find another director that seems like it's going to work. Absolutely. Um, You could definitely see a lot of Andor like, hey, I've got the skill set, but he's not there yet. He's not. He's not infiltrated anything yet he just kind of like well that we know of fair but i am glad that they did three episodes not two to launch yeah because i think episode one could have done really well by itself yeah i but two needed two two was very two was like two was quick it was was like a lot of filler it was very short and i don't feel like it progressed the story as much as one and three yeah i think one set it up well mm-hmm. two they just kind of were like we're ne- we don't want to drop all this just yet yeah yeah and then three they're like all right we're going absolutely which is great to see them do it that quick because i think the main complaint about obi-wan was how long they took to do certain things which i, I enjoyed but like you could definitely see some of that yeah what about you luke i liked it a lot yeah good there feels was, episode one was it had good like uh showing of what it was and what it wanted to be yeah yeah episode two did feel kind of like that just it's the little little filler little section it was kind of weird there was like a lot of a lot of talking a lot of oh this is what's gonna happen if you don't do it was this. a little more set up and not a lot of story progression yes, yes. and then three was just like bam yeah early yeah. season finale yeah like we're gonna get totally yeah that was honestly if that was a season finale like that was like 10 right. episodes in and that was a season finale. Like, i'd be like I, I think we ended on a good spot. Yeah, yeah that, that shootout was probably the coolest part in the factory where, like, all the chains were that was sick. falling down and stuff because yeah. they're right. hitting them. I think, honestly, one of the best Star Wars shootouts possible. Like, I don't think we've seen another one to that level. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think we've seen blasters be nearly as destructive. Yeah. Which is cool. That's true. I like the – I love the one quote, how are we going to get out of here? You don't have a plan. He's like – Second rule, you make an exit when you go in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Love the character. The doors fling around. Yeah. Beautiful. The guy just like, he's ready to shoot him and he's just like. Yeah. I was I was really excited about the series because I think I've consumed less Star Wars media than you two. And I really, really appreciate that they have not necessarily like completely switched over to the spy genre. But, like, the amount of intrigue and the secrecy that you get, not only in, like, the setup to the story, but the way that the characters are, like, on screen actually performing it. You get that, like, longer, like, longer takes on faces. Yeah. Like, lots of, like, I don't know. I, li- I like that a lot. I think, personally, love it. I'm curious to see what they do with this because you don't have to think about, like, all these characters with big back mm-hmm. backstories that you're, like, in a- interweaving it they can just kind of do what they want yeah all you have to do is eventually get to the point where like i he's a captain yeah he he's ranking up there right before rogue one you know and that's that's the only thing they eventually have to get to beyond that you're not you know the showrunners already said hey we're not dropping in all these things we're not we're not dropping in jedis we're not dropping in any fan service like this is this is something yeah which is a great thing to see star wars do to see if it can continue to be done. Yeah. They're, they're definitely branching out and doing different stuff. Like between this, you got visions, which you're going to try to pull in all the anime nerds. Like, I think they're going in the right direction with this. I'd love to see them eventually say, okay, because we like how this style is going, we can go back to movies, but get away from the Skywalker saga, which, you know, we're still in, 
mm-hmm. but we're far enough away from the Skywalker family that it's like, okay, we can really explore this. Yeah. Go deeper into the, the universe. Yeah, you don't stuff. have to hit certain key points in a timeline. Yeah. So first uh first initial initial like when when we first meet uh when we first meet Cassian in this particular setting, um, flying in, going to uh a little bit more of a seedy area. Do we like the direction? Do we like the um the amount of grit that we're seeing in this this gritty filled reboot era? Are we do we giving like... us the grit in the beginning? I think was the right move. Okay. I I like it set the tone for a series that isn't meant for an audience that's like it, it sets a different tone for a different type of series. They're yeah, not, they're not it's general not, audiencing it. Yeah, it's it's certain people are going to like it, and there's going to be people that. I think you're spot on with that. Yeah. Whereas it's not just the this is Star Wars, this is Star Wars. We have to like like, the, like the director was saying he uh, he didn't want fan service. I think that means he's not gonna pander to every little right. whim. You don't want to because that does that d- there is a kind of like a sh- where when a show they do a lot of nostalgia stuff and stuff specifically for that. Yeah. You watch it for that. I mean, keep in mind Star Wars basically is that at this point. I know. I know. That's what. Like, but this isn't that. Right. This, isn't, this that's hasn't the funny been that. Thing, like, well, yes, I am curious to see because he, totally, and that's that's where I was going to. Where it's Mandalorian started as that, and then it became that. Mm-hmm. So you hope it doesn't become that. We do want something different, right? All right, and I think being further away from that because the Mandalorians and stuff like that, like, like when when you have that group of people, they're still highly present in those yeah. mainline star wars stories right yeah right like they were and they're also they're not like a they're not rolling I think deep the you only know? i quote nostalgic thing that might be is his react his interaction with the rebellion like yeah. when he actually joins the rebellion or whatever yeah yeah it is interesting especially as we have colin wearing a uh stormtrooper snuggie right now that you know as we get into basically the police force of this one it mm-hmm. You have the corpos. Yeah. You don't have stormtroopers yet. Right. Which we'll probably get there, but I, it's like the it's like the Imperials park rangers, and it's really funny yeah. that the park rangers are getting into shootouts. Yeah. I like uh, that. <laughs> we all absolutely love that. The favorite thing. So if you watch anything that's not just overtly your native language, turn on the subtitles. You'll love it. If you if you love a good like. Oh yeah. If you want some good oh, just. Man inside uh, some like dry humor um we we might actually have this shot for it we can put we, we can at least put in the screenshot of our so, favorite subtitle right before we started watching episode one luke made a great comment about watching anime and just speaking japanese like we'll be the subtitle because yeah. <laughs> they don't want to tell you everything you know part of being a foreign language sometimes is that they're doing that to not give us all the context of the spoken language and so we hard. got that, like, literally two minutes in, all of a sudden it just comes across Alien Speaking Alien. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> the other one, if you really love just watching funny stuff like that with subtitles, the end of episode three. Yes. Corpos wailing in pain. Yeah, yeah. After the um, after they <laughs> shoot the uh, the decoy uh, the decoy speeder. The decoy speeder. I like how yeah. at first we were like, oh, that was so uneventful. <laughs> What the um yeah. the pan like the the pan across the the inspector's face as he's like looking at like all of these like possibly dead and or dying and or seriously injured individuals that is very clearly his fault. You gotta be careful saying and or in this. Uh, that's a fair well, show. I, well, that's the thing is I don't I don't know what well, yeah, 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 I get you. But like, <laughs> there we go. In this case, and slash or like I need <laughs> it. It's. It's interesting to see the juxta- juxtaposition of him in completely distraught at making like the a George Washington style blunder where like the first time he's ever in command he like loses a bunch of men and he's like oh my gosh this is awful and then underneath it's just like corporal's wailing in pain yeah so the, <laughs> yeah I mean between the lieutenant and his superior um, we haven't gotten an official rank on him yet. He's. I just. Call, I'm calling him the inspector because he's not the chief inspector, but he's not the Fair. lieutenant. So we'll call him inspector. Um, between the lieutenant and the inspector, like you can tell the lieutenant's like great, understands what he's doing, has an idea of the command that he wants to lead, and then he's the lieutenant's just, just like one of those like straight out of West Point, like, hey, you're given a command of all these ten year vets, and it's like, bro, 
I've been told that by by somebody who was in the the U.S. military that commanders who come out of West Point they're uh, called butter bars. Okay. Why? Because the the bars that they get on their um, uh, their uniforms after oh. graduating from West Point looks like butter, and also apparently i don't know i don't know if this part is 100 percent true but the person that told me was like and they're soft and i was like all right <laughs> <Soft>. <laughs> i don't like comparatively to me i'm not so sure a west point say, graduate is soft uh, but hey, yeah whatever. we got three nerds sitting here in star wars right. gear talking in star wars but i'm you know. literally in a stormtrooper snuggie is there something softer yeah. the answer is no get yeah. you the snuggie it's great <laughs> Yeah, like let's go into Walgreens and spend our own money on this. No, like it's snuggies not are that expensive. Snuggies are meant to be bought as Christmas presents for other people as jokes. Although I will say they're meant to be worn comfortably in your manhood. Colin was That's like, what no, they're meant no, to be worn man. for. I wanted it. <laughs> That's right. I I walked into Walgreens and I bought a, stor- a stormtrooper snuggie because I'm a part of the fan base. <laughs> Let me be. <laughs> oh boy. Just Anyways. The catch is what? <laughs> oh. I'm questioning every work adventure I bring you on right now. Um, I still, I think it's very, I think it's going to be very exciting to see where you get like the FBI level involvement from the, from yeah. the Empire. Like, I don't know if we're going to see. At what point do they step in? Because right, you know right. they're coming. They have to. They're, it's the whole arc it, of Star Wars. Right. Is it going to be like, At where? Point. what planet are they going to meet them on first though? Right. That's yeah. Because curious. Are we finally going to go to a planet that we know? Because at this point we're, uh. Yeah. We see three planets in the first episode that carry throughout the all three. We see yes. Morlana one, Canari, mm-hmm. and Ferrix. As far as us nerds know, we haven't gone there. Yeah. Um. Well, especially because Ferrix the entire time like hates the Corpos. Like, yeah. Absolutely hates them. Which is like okay. Let's see how much they're really going to rebel if they continue showing that. Yeah. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we don't return to Ferrix for a while. I think we will eventually. Yeah. Especially with Marva still around. Can we talk about Marva? Wait, wait, wait. But real quick, before we talk about Marva, bet on the next time that we come back to Ferrix, uh, is it going to be fully like Imperial controlled? Do we think? Yes, no, yes, I think no, you yes, will see no? a Corpo presence, not an Imperial presence. Yeah, probably Corpo. Corpo, not Imperial. I yeah. am I am going to escalate that to Light Imperial. I will say there is going to be a Light Imperial maybe force. Maybe overall Corpo, but like... Some imperial oversight. I think you're definitely going to see at least like one HQ that our our current inspector is yeah. going to report to, and he's going to run into some stormtroopers there. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to bet we're going to get like a, uh, the imperial style shot where you get the 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 tribe <laughs> the triangle yeah. ship. <laughs> I forget yeah. what that one's called. Um, but then when they pull it, they a land. Star Destroyer. It's, a star- it's just like no, a- yeah. It's just, it's not the Star Destroyer because the Star oh, Destroyer. Right. It's the one that uh, Palpatine Rebel. comes into. It's yeah, the one that it's, Vader it's comes. A, out oh on. yeah, yeah. The command ship. Yes, just like the regular. Like, yeah. You're gonna get that command. There's ship actually shot. ones that their wings are like 20 feet tall. That's wild. They're they're it's the ones from it's like the ones from Rogue One. The yeah. Really big black ones that it, but those had two wings. What the th- that was a troop carrier. There's there's the black ones for the Inquisitors. Yes, they the have Inquisitors. The wings are yeah. literally like yes. 30 feet tall. The one that like, you also see in wow. Rogue One in like the very first couple of scenes when they fly in with it yeah. for the Inquisitor. Yeah. That is the And they ship can like fold about. the wings to be like them shorter, like yeah. ridiculous. So <laughs> I, honestly, I bet we're going to see some Inquisition stuff. I'm, I'm pretty there's excited. A, there's Inquisitors that aren't Sith or like the Dark Side users. They, they would just wear full. Yeah, yeah. Like metal armor, they're like Mandalorians, basically. I think they'd be with sick. like dual pistols that can like blow Ba-ka. through ships. <laughs> How's that go? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got introduced to because of the nature of the show a lot of new characters. Yes. And with that, we have a couple that we absolutely loved and a couple that we absolutely hated. Uh, first starters, impressions on B two emo. I like that. I like the little little. I, like the I love the design. Yeah. I love the stutter. He is an el- elite personality. <laughs> yeah. An absolutely elite personality. Yeah. Star Wars does something that no other series does as well, which is give... In it- live action. I um, mean, no, I'm still accurate with this. Star Wars no, no one else does this as well, where they give non-living beings or objects a real personality. I, I raise you the brave little toaster. <laughs> Done. Well, I, can't be, I can't. I <laughs> can't. What? Oh, what? Uh, yeah, what? Luke and I are on the same page. <laughs> that's, like that's like a cartoon from like a fifties or whatever. In okay, and, not that old. And <laughs> um, I I can't give you that. Not 
because it's not interacting as much with human. You know, when you're interacting more with. Okay, we're getting more specific. Now. Yeah, <laughs> like no, because that that helps you build that. Um, right. Seeing that juxtaposition, it is good to. See, I really like that we got B two emo. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for K two so I'm really hoping we get that. Yeah, because K two, oh, especially as they bring back uh, Tudic to voice K two, love him. Well, we'll see. I think that may be like a season two thing. Yeah. Um. We mess with the stutter on B2 yeah. though. Absolutely. Great design of the character uh, as the droid as a whole. We I like the droid like that. The the slinky the level. nature. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of I don't know about anybody else. I enjoyed it. I kind of think does anybody else in their brain think that he like dances like do 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 is like poke <laughs> his favorite. Luke's trying not to look at you right now so he doesn't <laughs> look down. It's like I can't oh, stand this dude like, right I now. I can't do this. <laughs> that um, good. Yeah, so love B2 emo. Uh, someone who B2 interacts with a lot is Marva. Okay, so Marva seems like a we, good we, character in general, yeah, yeah. but just straight up kidnaps a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, not, not, not like, oh, maybe there's a situation where we can leave him. It was under a circumstance where, like, I guess, but she said the Republic. She said the Republic's going to land here. And just 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 kill everybody. But yeah, could could that, that have been weird. like direct post Order sixty six? Could have was, been it before like, they were really the Empire. I think they were. Because remember when you go on the ship, it looks like an Imperial, like the the black yeah, the and interior, white, yeah. like super. Which shiny. keep in mind was Republic before. Yeah. So that that's actually a good point to be looking out for. It's just like when they go back, yeah, um, and that explains Cassian wanting to look for his sister. Like okay. Yeah. We figured at some point they're going to get separated when they're so doing the flashbacks. This shows how early in the Empire's, like, er, like earliness they are. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Order 66 probably is or just took place. Well, keep in mind, point. you had to do it before Rogue One. Yeah. Which is right before the Battle of Yavin. So, you know, you are, you're not that far in. Tight timeline. Yeah. Like, they're not, they're not talking High Republic or, or post Empire. Also, can we talk about um, homeboy who was with, uh, who was uh, complicit in the kidnapping? I'm forgetting. Uh, did he have a name? I don't know that he they got a name, I but reference him. He, he, is, he was concerned about his payday and nothing else. I yeah. like him. He, he was like, spunk. if you're willing to do it, let's just go. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> I like your spunk, kid. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got He's moxie. Like, I'm <laughs> him with something. I'm curious to see if he makes a come back in this or I if it was so. just that one scene because that character had too much development not to i that's what i'm saying he's and also i bet we are gonna you think i don't know do we think that that homegirl stays on the planet marva yeah we think marva stays on the planet or do we think that marva i mean she's pretty old at this point so i know so. she's pretty old that's but probably kind of her last I don't know. She, those those tears at the end of episode three. Okay, don't get older on Luke. Got it. Wow. <laughs> she's like 60. This is her last hurrah. Damn. No, she's... I mean, I bet. I don't know. In, in, in universe, right? We've seen older individuals pull some pretty cool feats. Okay, Yoda doesn't count. <laughs> All right, never mind my theory. The oldest, <laughs> the oldest Yoda's like ever. A, well, Yoda is not even the same species. Like we're talking humanoid. I but even though you see, I mean, all right, you never mind. I'm like Grogu at fifty is still a child. Yeah, Yoda, I Yoda's know. kind of his own little. And I guess I am talking about like mostly four seasons that are old. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Yeah, or I, I mean, forget what I said. Um. So we got we got Marvel. We got B two. Mm-hmm. Uh. Then we get Bix and Tim with two M's, and we <laughs> were very much so in a polarized funny. opinion of those. Two oh characters. yeah, Tim. Tim with oh. this. Can we can we do Tim, Tim first? Because I have emotions. He's wearing, um, he's wearing okay. Tim's. Okay. So do you remember what you said the second M was for? Yeah. No, I absolutely do. First off, Tim sucks. Second <laughs> off, not wrong. Two M's. Are you kidding me? Like definitely. It def- could have just been Tim, but they had a Star Wars it. Yeah, I know. But the second, but I know the I know the reason they put two M's on there. The first M's for his name, but the second M's for meddling. Yeah. He's he's a. Brown, no, I, I, I don't like him. I don't like him at all. There's a lot of points I don't, I don't watching think, this. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of points watching this where these two just say whatever comes to mind, and I'm not much better at this. But I almost had to pause the episode when Colin just dropped the line. I was like, oh god, I was oh, mad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I don't, he's he, like, come on now. We we saw him do the thing. He he sees that his girl is hanging out with another dude, and he's like, 
Insta jealous. Right, yeah. insta jealous. Which like, okay, Cassie's I get that, good looking. I get it. I get that to a point, but like, no conversations with Bix. No, right. no anything. No conversations with even with even Cass. Like no conversations the at all. The closest he comes to a conversation with Bix about this is him literally just staring at her sleeping, which is and terrifying. That was. <laughs> Awful to watch. Silver lining, we don't have to deal with that anymore because he's dead. <laughs> Thank God. Which also his own fault. He yeah. would yeah. be fine if like, he Like, bro, just put your hands up and stay. Maybe he, the corpos don't kill you. He put his hands up and he stayed and then he was like, you know what? No. <laughs> like, I think it was kind of funny how the, the corpos were so just like guns ablaze. They didn't get yeah. so any like, shit mind collateral damage. Yeah, keep in mind in this. <laughs> right. They're right. just like. Just we're not, we're basically just, imperials. We can do what we want. Bah, bah, so bah. <laughs> keep in mind, they brought 14, right? 12, 12 troops, two officers. Yes. In the scene where Tim dies, again, if you're, if this is spoilers, don't leave comments. Just go watch this. We warned you. In the scene where Tim dies, you just have Bix chained up because she couldn't <laughs> just, just like, not run past the corporals either. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. So she's just all chained up and stuff. And it's just like. Eh, we'll leave her there. What? I'm still upset that Tim ran, stopped, thought about it, and do you know what? Do you know what the final words? Okay, he but said here's were? the thing. Anytime I have to run, I do also stop, think about it, and then I'm like, do I really need to run again? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing is, if Tim just had that reflex, he'd be fine. The last words he said were like, "She's bleeding." Blah. No, the last words he said were, "Who did this to her?" Yeah, you are staring at them. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like he's our. Uh, he's not exactly our best there inspector there here. I don't. I don't. running in that man's head. I hate that man. <laughs> like, <laughs> we are all glad we don't ever have to see Tim on yes. the show ever again. Absolutely. I hope if they that flash I, back to Tim, <laughs> we're going actor, to riot. That's the thing, though. Whoever played Tim as an actor, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look. Look Great up your job. name. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna put it right here. There's your name. This whoever this actor is is fantastic great job at making us hate you yes no like i th I think that i hope you get plenty of money and plenty of roles from this because you deserve it but fuck your character sucks dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not a fan I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to bleep that out but i can't i can't with him okay so bix we got bix just kind of your like generic like i don't think she's generic i i She's got depth to her now. Yeah, the she has least. depth. It's you can definitely see the struggle that she's got. It's like I could build a life. I have Tim, as shitty as Tim is, but <laughs> <laughs> I got Tim. We kind of got a good business going. I can do this thing. But here's old buddy Cassian, which they might have had a thing in the past. I would not be surprised if we see them get together during this. Yeah, because Tim's dead now. <laughs> Sorry, just <laughs> keep praise me. <laughs> so. I think you see her like, hey, I could just have a life, which is obviously difficult in the Star Wars universe, mm -hmm. especially at this time. Or I could get involved in whatever the Cassian's doing over here, which we clearly know is not going to end well, but... And Cassian's an old friend. Yeah. The funniest part is that like, he literally... Tim called the guard of like, the corporals or whatever because he was jealous. Yeah. It wasn't because he knew they were doing something bad. Yeah. Or they were no like, idea. doing some black market stuff. No. He was just like, I'm Phil Petty today. It's <laughs> actually 100% what happened. You just, you just like pedally. I'm like, kind of <laughs> drunk. That was, that was the most Luke way to describe something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling very petty today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So one more character I want to go through. Yes. Luthen. Who? Yes. So wait, wait, episode wait, two. I also, I, I, real quick, as far as Bix goes, what, one last thing on Bix. I am very excited to see what happens now with her character. Does she leave the planet and like try right, to find right. Cassian? Exactly. Yeah. Does does she become that like that warlord esque? Oh, like, kind of like figure um, for kind of like in Solo, uh, Kira. I want to say his name. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was going to say make um like literally just parallel to the warlord from um the kid tribe. Okay. Like. Oh. Just because if the, if they're both like, well, see, you call her warlord, I call her like leader. She's not exactly a warlord. I I guess it, they seem like a warring tribe. First thing they did we, was we will get to all of Kanari because that's a all very right, interesting all right, all right. thing. It's a Kanari. Um, so Luthen is the other big one that we want to cover. 
first off, episode two, they just kind of don't say his name. And we only refer to him as Kane Guy. <laughs> That's right. And we all were just kind of cool saying, like, guy. I, we kind of like where, where Kane Guy's going. And man, in episode two, if we were losing, <laughs> we were sitting there like, I'd have to punch that other passenger in the face. Oh, dude, I'm so glad he that like the annoying... Right but- he was like, so... Why are yeah. you here? What are you doing? The Why annoying you? bus passenger yeah. oh my exists God. in every that, universe, that one, including that Star one guy Wars. Just gets in your face and is like, "So, what are you?" <laughs> That's just uh, a broad question. Like weird. He's a weird guy, though. Like, first off, the actor who played him as well, I really liked that actor. Great job at personifying. Great exactly what we don't want to deal with on public transit but that's the thing though i'm actually kind of curious because if we're gonna if we're gonna ever gonna come back do we see him again because he's he also seemed like a relatively developed character and he also was wearing a lot of bright colors fair which made me think that he was more important yeah but if that's just like a one-off side character on bravo because he on was a, great like again can you tell that we went to school for doing things in entertainment yeah um <laughs> way over analyzing some things Sorry. Like that's unironically an imperial spy. <laughs> that's I also thought that I was like maybe. Was like, you know what? Yeah, he's really trying to get some information from this guy for like no. Obvious yeah, they're reason. trailing him. Yeah. Okay, so Luthen, you can tell he's important. Yes. But yeah, wow! Did not expect it, him to be that that guns a blazing and like ready to go. Well, I thought I when uh, when he retracted his cane. Like, that's what like, I thought things were getting serious. I was yeah. like, "Oh no, this man's a G." Yeah, like he's You're like that's a that's an act. <laughs> yeah, so I don't. I'm concerned because we still know very little about him. But all I know is that I'm going to love his character until I hate him if I ever do. Until we find out he is actually an Imperial spy, just trying to get Cassian because <laughs> he thinks he's already a rebel spy. Yeah, but unless we find out that there was, that he's like a, a he was like an ex imperial spy who's just like doing it to be the rebels, could be, and then he's getting tailed by this weird salesman esque man who's apparently just sells boosters. Or, <laughs> or what if he is an imperial spy? Cassian thinks he's a rebel spy because that's how he's playing because he thinks Cassian's a rebel spy. Yeah, and then he gets tailed by the rebels, and that's what finally gets Cassian to be a rebel. Whoa. Interesting. <laughs> it's a little far fetched, but that's something I actually could see. Yeah. Um, but Luthien, we're definitely excited to see how that character develops. Like, it's already, yes. you can tell that this one's going to be around for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Very excited to see kind of the story that goes on with those two. And Tim's dead. Away. And Tim's <laughs> dead, thank God. I, th- I, that, okay. that was what, honestly, we ta- we kind of like talked like- down on episode two. I think that was the reason for episode two, was to make us hate there Tim. There was a lot. Yeah. There we go. We finally was- figured it out figured it out so we got three new worlds that we're aware of being new Mm -hmm. um cool one is canari yep have either of you ever seen the show the 100 yes Yes. that's what it reminded me of especially when we got to the quarry scene so it starts off all innocent yeah they started reminding me a bit of in the 100 they have the grounders who the 100 really quick synopsis uh basically nuclear war and then a bunch of other nuclear problems. So basically, the only people still alive, at least at the start of the show, are in a, a space satellite. station. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And eventually, they realize space station is dying. They send the kids who are prisoners to the ground. It's a whole thing. Don't ask me questions about that. Just go watch that because I'm not <laughs> trying to explain the. Because ethically, it's really messy. Yeah. <laughs> ethically, it's a thing. And they, which is actually what makes the show really intriguing. And they get down there and realize there's actually indigenous people still there. So. That reminded me a lot of that, where they're like, kind of just living off the land, doing what they gotta do, you yeah. know. And the second we got to the quarry, it's like, oh no, there, there's more going on here. Yeah. Which they said there was a mining disaster on there, mm-hmm. to the point where they didn't think people could live. Which clearly, like, uh, Imperials are just like, we don't want to deal with this planet anymore. Yeah, big. If boom, we just we say don't. it's not inhabitable to any degree, cool. That's about it. Luke's got thoughts going. I can, <laughs> can see you can see by the change in his face. Yeah, but um, the uh, yeah, there was probably there was probably they probably like found some kind of uh, material they couldn't like ore, and it just like exploded. Oh, definitely. Yeah, there were there were a few times where they actually mined a material. I forget what it's called. It's something wild. But if you if you 
like a few substances mixed with this material, the whole planet just explodes. Are you talking Star Wars or real life? Because like that's Star that's Wars. okay. Because yeah, that's some cool. stuff that we could be dealing with, and <laughs> then, then I'd be terrified <laughs> if we were. Corporate greed's a thing. But the yeah, I it's a very interesting setup to have that what looks to be initially like the scrappings together of like some like warring tribes or whatever initially i thought the world was going to be okay like, so like you say warring tribes i didn't get that at all i th- i th- as soon as as soon as the ship crash landed and everyone was like we fighting i was like oh they fought like, i didn't think that scavengers. yeah yeah so i thought yeah. they were just going to figure out like hey it but is they, a threat they knew how to make poison darts you could okay. s- you saw them like dipping darts in, but remember like, these are children like the, yes! the leader? <laughs> what do you think? That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> They're kids. <laughs> Out of necessity. But like, here's the thing. Why is it just children? I'd love, I would love to see like why. Did all the adults it, die yeah, in a mining it, it accident? Or because, Imperials. Luke yeah. talked about this a bit. Um, I think he talked about it as we we're watching is maybe the adults were taken away for slave trade. Imperials are big on slave trade. Ooh. Yeah. They normally aren't too big on it with humanoids. Yeah, they're like. They but if the planet races, is, but I'm sure early and yeah, the but prisoners they, they'll do it with. Oh yeah, they don't know. Yeah, <laughs> they just yeah. They, they're quick to like. So mess it up. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is, I'm still very curious why they know how to make poison. <laughs> that to me is is a little bit because int- right. what did they need to? Because if you poison something, you can't eat it. So why do they know how? What to other make threats poison? are there? That's yeah, fair. That's what I'm. That was that was my first brain, as I was like, because the the idea of like poisoning is like to get poison either into like some sort of bloodstream, and so yeah. as soon as you do that, I mean, clearly you, though they've they've dealt with some trauma because uh-huh. yeah. obviously you're not gonna have kids without adults for no reason. Mm-hmm. And also, why why were the um, Imperials that they or rebels or whoever it was that they found why were they yellow? Yeah, that had to have been some kind of disease or something coming in. Is intriguing. Was yeah. Because is that why they crashed? I think it, there. I think there is a. I think there is a species that's just. Just yellow, yellow. like yeah, humanoid and yellow. I don't know about that. Well, they, it could be. It could also be like. Because I've seen them in other Star Wars things. Okay. Like there's been well, then like maybe girl dancers or whatever. They've been. We'll that do color. That might just be like a. We might need like, to do some you research. know how anime yeah, has the aesthetic where like they have just different colored so hair. So I get what you're reason, saying. Like, yeah. But yeah. we are in Imperial times where. Most of those kind of species don't get things like they're not going around on spaceships as much, you know. That's yeah. true. They, the emperor hates non-humans. He yes. really does. So, is, so is, if they're if they're out and about, and and now that we've like we're, we've talked about Kanar, we talked about the like the flashbacks and stuff that we've been had going on and stuff, and so I I think that I I think I asked this question while we were watching. But I'm. I, when do we think the stories link up? You know, like where? When do we start to see how? Like, I don't know. When do we get that that like <laughs> that newspaper clipping where it's like, and this happened, and then we're like, oh goodness, this is this is where like we get a little bit more into yeah. the story that we know. Or we meet I somebody think, who has like info why the rebels were landing on that planet. I think basically all season one is going to be... It just exposition, really. Yeah. Probably. I don't think we're going to get to a point until the end of season one where he's actually like in as a spy. Yeah. I think a lot of season one is going to be him being convinced and like maybe the first mission or something like that. Yeah. But I think a lot of it's going to be them on the run. Because yeah. that's, that's where we're at right now is Cassian's got an APB on him and yeah. they're, they're going for yeah. him. Because really right now the Empire is just like the inner rim like the course oh yeah, yeah. yeah most of those planets are really like naboo the like the planets we've known and been yeah, around yeah, it's yeah. like mostly on the inner rim except for tatooine's literally way over here but we can kind and of the assume, camino is like even way over there but we can safely assume that like mid rim isn't under imperial control no. therefore outer rim definitely not. possibly not yeah because they definitely and we're probably in mid rim because they did mention canary being mid rim normally That's you don't true. jump they probably from at inner this to point mid mostly out. completely control the inner rim, and now they're probably starting to kind of like, yeah, go out more. Yeah, I mean, like, we definitely were... haven't explored the mid rim as much. We've done a lot of outer. We've done, mm-hmm. you know, obviously the prequels were a little bit more inner. Yes, we've not done outer rim much. Or mid rim. Or mid rim. Sorry. Yeah, kind of both. 
Yeah, yeah less out rim. Out, out, Utapau is outer rim. Tatooine. I think we've done actually a lot of outer rim. Yeah. Well, I guess if you're counting like animated Gavin series. And, oh, actually, you know what? I'm wrong. Yeah. Like All most of uh, most planets. of the yeah. original was outer rim. You're right. Every one of those planets were a the asteroid field that there's an asteroid field between the medium and outer. Oh, that's, what that was. that's right. That's, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that well in that case, and this is going to be a really Endor, fun story. Endor's outer rim too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It that's, is that's nice. a moon of a bigger yeah. planet, but I forget what the bigger. Planet I am is. very excited that we're not on Tatooine. At least not yet. Please, they really don't do take us to Tatooine. Yeah. Jakku. From the seventh movie. Oh. We don't need to go there either. Yeah. I, I, I like that area. Yeah, that was another sand planet. I'm just... It's, it's a little... We've seen it enough has, sand. It, it's his more intrigue than Tatooine Just more sand. I don't think we need any more sand. At least no. not in season one. I think we're okay. I, yeah. I enjoyed it. I it for, Okay. Can we talk about how cold the murdering in episode one was? Can we <laughs> have like a really quick... I don't just, think it was that cold. I think the headbutt... I, the obviously, headbutt was not cold. The headbutt, the headbutt from hell... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did he kill him with a headbutt? Uh, did he headbutt him missing like, uh, like just the right spot? He headbutted yeah. him. Yeah. Well, so, so he's got he, him. like fling him against a wall. No, that no, he's got him. Sense. He's got him. So he's got him behind him. And so you know how guys got gun to his head. And so there's the one yeah. uh, valor, a valor or something like that. Oh, I got him. Uh, is searching his pockets. Yeah. And he's like, go to the other pocket. And yeah, Verlo. Verlo. And then Verlo goes to like. Go bind onto the other pocket. He literally just head forward, head back, goes back of his head into we can assume, basically his nose. Yeah, like what looked like the center of his face, and then he never comes back into the fight. Yeah. yeah. The the by the way, that fight choreography is great. I really like the one on one fight choreography. It's very like it was visceral. Like it looked like punches. Yeah, with Kravis, it definitely looked like it wasn't overly. It didn't look overly like oh they know all this hand to hand combat or anything. Yeah. It was just it looked genuine like. Hey, I got a roll. gun in my back, and I'm trying to not die today. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was that was really good. So, but, but headbutt from hell is, does that change your view on the scene? Could you think there was a little bit more of a? It just kind of it happened really fast, and I just the first time I saw it when he hit him when he hit him, I thought he just like oh dazed him or whatever, and he was gonna get back up and attack. Yeah, uh, Cassian, but no, he's just dead. Yeah, I, that was the thing. Is yeah. he, like maybe he, he fell and he died. hit the back of his head too, but like the front of his face, not all that messed he up. He could have fallen on the back of his head yeah. and that could have done something more. In because it's hard ground. Yeah, and well, he was kind of tall. Yeah. He was kind of a taller dude, six foot, six foot, something like that. It's fun fact: if you're a tall person, um, it's it, falling hurts a lot more falling for you than hurts. for me. Yeah, like the the gravity affects you harder. So as we learned in the carnival video, go watch that. Oh, you see how miserable yeah, I get. It is. The oh, carnival yeah. video, Cody, is is having a bad time. <laughs> okay, so really quick context. The carnival video that we went on, I learned how much more spinny rides affect me now that I'm about three times the size as I was as a child when I loved them. Mm-hmm. And that's all we're going to say about that. There's a card up in the corner. <laughs> go watch go that. Watch <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, gravity hurts. So, <laughs> yeah. Kravis, the scene where he's trying to play for his life, definitely yeah. great. Good cop, bad cop. Kind of yes. like... Let's plead, and then he'll get his corporate buddies later, and Cassian's like, nah, bro. Yes, the world yeah. building is so good in the little moments. Yeah. Because you can tell, like, in that in that moment, you can be like, okay, this cop has done something similar, you know? Right. Like, he's definitely, at one point in time, been like, okay. like he He's panicking. He's definitely panicking for his life, realizing yeah. what's going on. But he also realizes enough where, okay, now I have to calm down right because like, well, mm. his his friend died yeah we don't, we don't know if how, how good of friends they were obviously they were good enough friends to go to uh a brothel a, yeah a brothel together loved the set for that yeah their yeah. version of like the red light with the bubbles super cool absolutely love that um it's just a cool set aggressive build crumping. like <laughs> no star wars has ever opened with aggressive crumping and i think that that needs to be something that happens more often now i mean not opposed to it. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed it. I think we're going to have a lot of fun when it in, in when it comes to the characterization of the world. I don't know. Do you feel like you can, like, kind of, if you were to, like, describe that the worlds that we've seen so far, do you think yeah. you could give, like, a, a base description? You yeah. Know? I mean, like, the, the first one is kind of like your, 
city state name, planet. Name. What's the name of the, the first planet? Morlana One. Morlana yeah. One. Thank you. I, it's, I'm not. I'm not as familiar with that one yet. I just neither am I. I got notes, buddy. Morlana One. <laughs> yeah, but I've, <laughs> I've seen like other planets that are like that. You know what it felt like? Um, Battlefront Two, original Battlefront Two. Forget this EA garbage. Uh, Battlefront <laughs> Two. The it felt a lot like they were playing that and had the um, water world. That now I can't remember that. Kashik. No, 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 Our not world. Kashyyyk. Um, we're all, oh, Camino. Camino. So it felt like a lot like the Camino level. Oh, yeah. Ooh. The coloration, very much like that. Yeah, they're very dark. Cool. Yeah. It was kind of like a rainy. It was very much just blacks vibe. and blues, yeah. very little other light. Yeah. Which I think set the mood really well for the start. Yeah. yeah. The second planet reminded me of. Uh, Are you talking Ferrix? Ferrix, yes. that is Ferrix. Okay. Yeah. It reminded me of um, Tatooine junk everywhere and there's I will say yeah workers kind of just doing whatever to um, survive and I will say the economics of tattooing survive for yourself kind of yeah. feel marketplace type vibes yeah yeah absolutely. it's very much like a just no they're sand. on their own just no sand <laughs> thankfully <laughs> yeah I I liked it it was bustling it was interesting it's enjoy I like the fact that on Tatooine everything was like two stories max yeah but now there's actual levels to the architecture and i'm interested to see how they because from what we've seen so far we get a lot of different architecture speaking cool. of big buildings yeah one of our favorite characters is just the bell guy oh the bell guy he gets so oh, into it <laughs> yes there's, yes yeah there's this guy and he literally his whole thing is like he gets in this giant tower that i'm assuming has like cords or organ pipes going below it i thought and it he was... just goes Wah. and then he's like ding, it's a ding, ding, it's a full choreography behind ding, ding, ding. this like, i love it it's not even that loud like in the town it's just kind of like a it's just kind of so, in the background. he's putting his heart and soul into it don't you tell me <laughs> that like, no one can like hear it god when he first pulls out the hammers off these nice super fancy hooks it's just like so oh, we have a lot of plans oh, for uh this. we have a lot of plans for halloween and okay. I feel like that's gonna be one of Luke's costumes as Bell Guy. Bell Guy. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you think Bell Guy gets paid? You think he's underpaid for the amount of choreography that he put into that? Definitely. Definitely underpaid. Yes. Yeah. Bell Guy's great. You think they were like Bell Guy will pay you an exposure? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> they actually did that in Mandalorian with the stormtroopers. So. Oh yeah, they were. Yeah. They were so different. the the scene with Moff Gideon where they needed more stormtroopers. Yeah. They didn't have enough. So they just reached out to one of the local like stormtrooper clubs. I don't know the correct name of them, um, but they so, all basically build their own stormtrooper armor. It's like a real big Star Wars nerd thing. I yeah, love love that as a community. Nuts. So cool. Yeah, yeah. Like you're already started, um, <laughs> but they actually reach out to them and they're like, "Hey, you guys want to be in our new show?" And they're like, "Well, like, yeah, we do. Me? Of course, I want to yes. be in that." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so all of them were unpaid. This is literally what we fantasize about. Yeah, exactly. That's Boy. true. But now they all have an IMDb credit as a stormtrooper. Good for them. That's got to feel so good. Yeah. It's a little better name than Bell Guy. I'm sure they give him an actual Bell character guy. name. But well, I'm going to avoid IMDb because I look to try to find Bix's name. Yeah. And it's all a real spoiler that I am very upset about. But it's something I'm definitely right about. Wait, wait. Is it? Is it? For later on in the series, it's a credited actor with a name. Don't no! if you want to avoid, if you want to avoid spoilers, stay off of IMDb. Yeah, it tells you a big character that's coming into the show, and it's literally in the first. Because normally, what they do lately on Bigger IMDb actors. is actually what like on the main page for IMDb is they won't do bigger actors in the beginning. They'll really? often just put on the first couple, yeah, like. The big ones in the first episode or two. Yeah. To avoid that. Oh. They didn't in this one. Well. Stay off of IMDb. Yeah, we'll do. It's already been spoiled for me, so I'll be the IMDb guy for this. But. Sick. Yeah. That, well, I'm definitely going to do that then. I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah. So, we are definitely looking forward to episode four. Um, they're going to be a little shorter from here on out because it looks like we're going to be getting one episode a week like the normal thing from Disney+. Plus. Yeah. I think, I think we'll have a little bit more to talk about though, because a lot of this was establishing yeah. what we want. You know, I don't know. I don't know if y'all like watch this and you were like, "I'm 
I got the I got a good baseline now. Yeah. You know, now my opinions are really gonna start rolling in. It's <laughs> it's set up to be fun. I think they started way quicker than anything else. Yep. Um, you know, Mando and Boba, I don't remember being this excited three episodes in. Granted, we got to watch three in a row. Yeah. But man, was it the right decision for them to not because they were originally just gonna give us two. Mm-hmm. It was the right decision when they pushed back. Just be like, we need to give them a third. Yeah. Because I feel like if they would have stopped at two, people would have fallen off. It's pretty. It, the ending of episode two was not stupid engaging. It we did not good. realize it was over until we saw the credits rolling. And we're like, yeah, oh. Like, oh, oh right. Wait, that was like 31 minutes? It was the shortest of the three. Oh, that's fair. It was. Actually, we had the remote somewhere. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, it is the shortest of the three episodes by far. Well, I'm glad that whatever... A little filler episode. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. It, it made, set up some stuff. Yeah, it made me hate Tim, which is my favorite. <laughs> Thank God he's that dead. That was not difficult. He's gone. Yeah, I'm, honestly, that, I'm going to be saying that three episodes from now. Yeah. I'm going to be... St- Tim I'm st- sucked. Great. The thing is, he's so memorable. He made... How about he sucked? Yeah, oh, absolutely. He literally started the show off. Without Tim, there'd be no Andor, but, you know. Uh, I beg to differ. You think no. someone would have ratted him out? Someone else would have ratted out? Yeah, I think I think they find him otherwise. Yeah, they probably would. That's fair. Or they had that conversation with Marva where he wasn't that careful. And that's, that's a fair. really interesting point, too, is how um, he wasn't supposed to be saying he was from... Where was that? Yes. He was supposed to be saying from Fest. Yeah. Well, he, I don't think he ever said he was from Karnari to somebody. No, or, he no. did to yeah. a bunch Bix. of people. He did? Yes, because Bix knew. And then Marva, when he was asked, you saw how nervous he was getting. And he's like, yeah. I don't remember who exactly. But I, like, yeah, I've told people. Well, like, no, Obviously not yeah. anything official. And then Marva was like, oh, all these like, girls that I'm worried about. And then she like listed off five names. Yeah, Cassie is a player, apparently. Wow. Hey, you know. <laughs> but in the show, episode one, he does talk to the entertainer. And he says that, you know, he's, he's looking, for, looking for a girl from Canary. So yeah. I think she was the one that like. A dude came looking for a girl from yeah. Canary, so she assumed. Probably, I think oh, yeah, without yeah. Tim, assumed I think without Tim, they would the, have this her. girl eventually gives it up. But do yeah. I think that I think they would have been more of a? Uh, I think it would have been more yeah. of a like they had to track the ship yeah, as opposed yeah. to just, hey guys, he's on, he's, he's here, here. Yeah. he's here on Ferrix. It's your boy. <laughs> he's in this city. Here's his house. This is his name. <laughs> Yeah. He gave him everything. Like, he was yeah. like, damn, I'm just so mad. He's trying to give him my girl. My girl. <laughs> like, his <laughs> name is Cassie and Andor. He lives with his weird not mom. He has, <laughs> little, <laughs> he has a little droid that's a tank. He, like, he's got uh, a small <laughs> penis. Like, <he's> like, <laughs> like, wow, this guy hates him. <laughs> quotes really stupid dot. He's still trying to take my girl. It's like, wait a minute. Tells everyone they have to watch Bojack Horseman, even though they've already seen uh, Bojack Horseman. If I don't stop this, they never will. <laughs> Guys, like, comment, subscribe. We've had a lot of fun talking about this show. Let us know what you think is going to happen in the next one, because yeah. we have no idea. We we've been all over the place on this one. And when we'll uh, we'll catch you all next week, because this is going to be a Friday thing for us. It, we're doing a little mini series, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This just for uh, just for a little while while this is going on. Look, we all got excited about Andor. We're like, yeah. How can we do something for the channel? So, thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate y'all watching. If you made it to the very end, like Cody said, you you're legally obligated to subscribe. So sorry, I I don't make oh, the rules. Dang it. Other than that, we thank you all for watching. I've been Colin. <laughs> 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 That's Luke. I'm Cody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>